Howdy everybody, Pinstrope here. What is doing on? We've got some more Hogs of War progressing on to the third mission of the campaign. Things have changed ever so slightly. I recently bought the official copy that is on Steam. It's really cheap going on the Steam store, so you can buy that up. I was using technically an illegal copy, um, so I've sort of got back to the third mission and we're sort of moving on. And here you'll see a real progression of things as far as map design goes it's where all the routes have changed and there isn't just one direct way of getting to the enemy they have four hogs one gunner and three grunts so it's not going to be that much of a problem with the large array of weaponry that we have at this point so starting off with the bazooka and i mean i played this game so much that i know exactly how much power i need in that shot to get the maximum amount of damage so he is going to take a big old 40 percent damage and if you're lucky if you get him onto that little ledge at the top there he will explode, which is very strange, and he will die. I, I, I still really don't know why that is, whether it's a weird Look game out. mechanic. Sometimes if the characters, I don't know, get stuck um, at the top, like on the outside of the map, then sometimes they explode. I don't know. Maybe one of the game developers can tell me that. This game is so old, who really cares? I don't know. My main strategy really is to sort of... Not so much surround the enemy, but I have my two gunners flanking on the outside, so then they can just sort of spam in um, any sort of bazooka and get as much damage as they possibly can. Again, trying to take out the gunner, but here was a really weak shot and it didn't even get to him. So, you know, I don't know why when I record, I don't, I suddenly just forget how to play this game and the amount of power I put into shots just goes out the window. And then when I stop recording, it's back to normal and I know exactly how much power to put in. So sometimes my shots are good, sometimes I'm accurate, sometimes not so much. Now there are two health crates on this map, one of which has already been taken by my gunner and the second one in the bottom right hand corner, as you'll see, of the screen, um, which is pretty much where I'm sending my scout at this point. Now the scout, as I recently upgraded him, doesn't start off with a sniper rifle. As you progress, you then get a sniper rifle, which does a maximum damage of 40, but you start off with the regular default rifle. Um, two important weapons that the scout has, poison gas, which uh, I'll get onto in a moment, and the pickpocket, which he does very sneakily, which basically takes a random weapon that the enemy is carrying, and that can really prohibit their next move. So, within Hogs of War, you've always got to think one step ahead of the enemy, like, what are you going to do next? How are you going to make it so that you have the advantage over them? And the poisonous gas deals 15 damage, but with every turn that the enemy has, they lose 10 health, so... With that 15 damage, they are really u losing first hand 25. And especially as that they are grunts, that is pretty much half of their health. With each mission that we progress through, I tend to go for the pig that has the biggest amount of health. Because that means that they are usually the most dangerous and carry the biggest amount of weapons that can pack the biggest punch. Obviously, pigs that have small amounts of health tend to carry smaller weapons that deal not as much damage and should really just be dealt with accordingly. Now the sapper, engineer or saboteur, they have the highest damage output within Hogs of War, which I have briefly mentioned before, so you should utilize that to then go for the target that has the biggest amount of health. Now the gunner at this point only has 35, but the TNT does 50, so you know, he has one of them, I'm gonna use it, why not? And of course, use the shelter Use shelters wherever possible, because they can really protect you in very important moments. Now look at what you gone and done! So if you have a pig who is taking quite a bit of damage and is really needing some help but it's not going to be his turn for quite some time, you can use a thing called baiting, where you take a class or just any sort of hog that has whatever sort of damage output and maybe can't be utilized as well as some of the others, like a grunt for instance, like this guy. You take him and you bait him in front of the AI so that they shoot him instead of the player that has the lowest amount of health, because I want that survival bonus at the end of this round. At the end of the day, all baiting does really is save me a bit of time, save me another turn. And if you're in this sort of situation where you've got two grunts or just two enemy pigs that are both poisoned and they have a low amount of damage, if you can get them below 10 health, then you can really gain yourself an extra turn. Because within their next turn, within the next enemy pig's turn who is poisoned, they will lose that 10 health, they will die, and they won't put out any damage. So you're saving yourself from taking any damage, needing medical support, anything like that, and gaining yourself the advantage. It's basically a win-win. So it's really just playing clever, not wanting to kill that pig, but wanting to save him so that when it is his turn, you will give yourself an extra turn. 
So the only pig at this point is this guy who has 50 health. Not going to be a problem with my gunners over on the far side and obviously the um, sapper that is in the shelter. So going to try and deal some damage, but instead of taking the pig that has the most damage, I was in a bit of a conundrum here. I thought, you know, I could go for the pig that has the most health or go and take out the um, the other pig that has the other 25 health. So if I shoot him, again, he will lose 20 health and it will be another sort of rinse and repeat. So that gives me two extra turns whereby I don't take any damage. So again, it's win-win for me. It's funny, I was sitting here the other day just thinking, you know, why, why do I make this series? Why do I play Hogs of War? Why do I still play it after like 15 years? of it being out as a game you know because the community is not that well known the game itself isn't that well known and to be honest that is my main reasoning behind it all there's no dlc there's there's nothing that people would know it for besides the core gameplay and that is why i love this game so much that is why i have just this 15 year like bundle of joy within me that just makes me want to tell people about it and talk about it in such detail Call me crazy, call me weird, I honestly don't care because I love this game to pieces. It may not be as popular as TF2 because, you know, I love TF2 as much as I love this game, but it's just a little side note on the channel. And, you know, it may be different and not many people may watch it compared to my TF2 videos, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I want to hear your thoughts on it in the comments as well. Have you ever played this game? Do you love this game? Do you hate it? I don't know. I just I want to attract people from the t the Hogs of War community as well. Try and build something as well. That's one thing. I want to make something. You know, I'm doing it with like merchandise. I'm doing it with T-shirts and stuff. And I don't know. I just want to sort of wear, raise awareness about this game because it is fun. It's cheap on Steam. Give it a go. Yeah, that, that that's it's not so much a rant, but you know that's that's sort of my thing over. The mission itself is going to be coming to a close, a very nice end to a very nice and simple round. We had the advantage and the strategy from the beginning, so it wasn't going to be much of a problem and we get the lovely two promotion points to finally promote our last grunt to an orderly to get some sort of medicine, medical doctor, healing person onto the team and helping us onto the next mission. Because as you progress through, um, the amount of promotion points you need to then upgrade your hogs gets higher and higher so you know your performance has to be better within each mission so that's pretty much going to wrap everything up here guys hope you enjoyed the video hope i can catch you in the next one and i will catch you guys later for that one cheerio